Hey there, Hofstra fans. Welcome inside the WB Mason Coaches Report on GoHofstra.com. I'm Julian Coulter, joined by the head coach of the Hofstra Pride Wrestling Team, Rob Osbach. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Well, you guys had four matches this past week, a couple of duels, and of course, a match against Virginia Tech. So before we kind of dive into what happened this week, what were your overall thoughts on four matches? Uh, you know, I, I thought we obviously finished a lot better winning our last two matches than we started uh, going down there. And we knew going down to Virginia Tech, um, it was going to be a challenging weekend, uh, starting with Virginia Tech on Friday night, ranked eighth in the country, and then uh, going into Sunday, wrestling three matches uh, is, is always tough on the guys. And, uh, you know, wrestling three, you know, pretty good teams as well. So uh, we, we knew it was going to be tough. Overall, you know, I came away with it. Fairly happy, especially the way we ended. Uh, you know, after losing on Friday night and then losing our first match uh, Sunday morning, I felt we, we could have went one or two ways at that point in time. We could have went, came back 0-4 uh, on the weekend, but the guys regrouped. They turned around. They got a good win against VMI, and I think that win, that confidence, really carried them over. And we came out and looked very sharp against uh, North Carolina. And, and I would say, if you know, looking at our team. That dual meet is the way I expect our team to wrestle, and, and if we wrestle that way, we can beat a lot of teams. Uh, if we wrestle the way we did, you know, the first match against Chattanooga or against Virginia Tech, you know, we're, we're kind of just a 500 team. Uh, but you know, wrestling the way we did against North Carolina, we were sharp, we were looking for points, we were throwing people around. It, it was really a good overall team effort. Now, as far as the weight classes go on the weekend, what do you think were the ones that you really were impressed with in terms of individual wrestlers, and then what were ones that you really weren't as happy with and you want to see improve? Yeah, I think if uh, I look overall, you know, one, I thought Jamel Hudson wrestled, a, had a really good weekend. Uh, lost the first match against Chattanooga to, uh, you know, pretty solid guy. It was a match we should have won. Um, if we want to be in All-America or, or competing for a national title, we have to find ways to win that match. Um, so that was a little disappointing, but overall I thought it was a good weekend. He, came, he had two come from behind wins. Uh, so I'm seeing a lot of confidence building in, in Jamel at 133 pounds. Luke Bite, disappointing Friday night, uh, wrestling Devin Carter. Came back uh, with a great Sunday effort, uh, beating the number five ranked kid in the country, returning All-American Evan Henderson. So that was, that was really nice. I think Nick Turdick, again, was 3-1. Was uh, had a match where um, Sunday morning against Chattanooga, he's one of the guys that just, I don't know what it was, he just wasn't ready to compete that, that morning. Uh, but other than that match was very good. Joe Booth, you know, had one slip up in there. Uh, and, and Cody Ruggirello really has been the guy I think that's impressed me the most this season so far. Uh, he goes down there, he had a great match against uh, Niebert from Virginia Tech, who's ranked fifth in the country, turning All-American, you know, 13-9 matches back and forth, wrestling hard, and then on... Um, Sunday, you know, he goes out there, does a great job, comes from behind in one match, gets a fall, I think, in the other, his other two matches. So he, he's been a guy that has been pretty impressive. He's got three pins on the year so far. I mean, he's really going out there and sticking to what, what he does well. And his best position is on top. Everybody knows that. So he goes out there, the first thing he does is take, get a takedown and get on top. So uh, he's probably been the guy that's been most impressive uh, for us. Uh, I think, you know, some ways that are concerns for us right now, 74. Mm -hmm. Um, 84 at times has been a little bit dicey, and and heavyweight we're young, and you know I don't want to say it's a concern. We're losing a lot of close matches to some good guys, but we got to start winning those matches for us to be a very good team. Uh, we we need somebody in those upper weight classes, uh, 74, 84, and heavyweight to really kind of pull it out to to get this team winning a lot of dual meets. As far as those upper weight classes go, do you think it's more shuffling around or just putting more work in on the I practice think it's, I think it's more work. Um, you know, I, I think Mike Hughes is close to turning that corner. He's learning a little bit. Um, you know, one of the things that's going up is, you know, you look at Mike and he, he's a big kid mm -hmm. and in high school he probably just bullied yeah. people around. Well, in college, Division One wrestling, they're also big mm -hmm. and you got to learn some wrestling and you got to learn how to push yourself and challenge yourself. And that's what he's doing right now. He's figuring out what it takes to win at, at, at this level. Uh, so it was nice for him to end the day with a pin and get his first college win. That, that was great. Hopefully it builds his confidence and, and he can move forward with it. You know, 84, we're having some weight issues, which uh, should not be. Uh, I don't think it, it should be a question, but we're doing some stupid things right now off the mat, which is causing us problems on the mat. And at 74, we just got to get better. You know, we're... we're uh, you know, on, on our mat wrestling, we're just not even close to doing what we need to be doing to get out. And so I don't think it has anything to do with shuffling the weights. It just really is they've got to do better. So Now, the matchup against number 22 UNC, ranked opponent. You guys go out there, and you just said at the beginning of the show that it was probably the best match that you wrestled this year. And if you wrestle like that going forward, you're going to win a lot of matches.
matches. What did you like against the matches? And do you think how how was it a complete effort in terms of the team? Yeah, I think you know we went out there just very aggressive, and it was the first time I've kind of seen our guys take that that initiative. And I think it, I can look at up and down the lineup at, at like specific points in each match where our guys got tough. You know, there, there's always going to be that point in a match where there, there's a situation that comes up, and either you win that situation and you probably win the match, or you lose that situation and you lose the match. And up and down the lineup, we had our guys do a great job at, at, of pulling that situation out and winning. I mean, if we go, Jamal Hudson was down probably 8-3 to three going into the third mm -hmm. period. Found a way to tie the match up, gets to take down in overtime. Luke Veit, at a, you know, he's wrestling a guy that's a returning All-American. He fought off at least three different takedowns where the guy had him in, in pretty much dead to rights, found a way to, to not get scored on, got the guy completely exhausted, overtime victory again. Nick Turdick. Um, finally started doing things that we've been telling him for three years about his defense and stuff. When guys are in on his leg, instead of turning away, actually giving him his hips, and he goes and does that, and you see the guy just breaks, and he comes off the mat. He's like, so that's what it feels like. We're like, yes, exactly. That is what we've been talking about. Uh, so I think what, what the guys did is, again, they, they just found the, 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 the right times in the match to, to not give in. And uh, once you do that one time, it, I think it helps build momentum. And, and, you know, we got a tough match coming up here against Oklahoma, and we're, we're going to need that, that, those focus points, and we're going to need to be very tough in those situations because we're going to be put in a lot of them. And <clears throat> there's going to be times when you can break and they're going to run all over you, or you can stand up to the challenge and, and get in there and, and get some quality wins. So now, as you mentioned, it's a matchup against the Oklahoma Sooners down in Norman. This is going to be the third-ranked team that you guys take on in this past two weeks or so, and they're number five in the country, but as far as the scouting report goes, what can you tell us about the Sooners? They, they are good. <laughs> I mean, you don't get ranked fifth in the country by uh, being a bad team, but you know, up and down the lineup, they got guys that are ranked in the, in the top 20, and, and a lot of their guys are going to be you know, in it to win national titles, you know, 25, 33, 49 the defending national champ, uh, 74, Andrew Howe is a returning national champ. Uh, 97 is another guy who's going to be vying for a national title. So, uh, you know, you, you got to go out there and be ready to, to compete against them. They, they are good for a reason. They're going to wrestle hard for seven minutes. They got, you know, each guy is a little bit different. You know, um, you know, 25, their guy's really good on top. You know, he's got a leg ride. You know, uh, Andrew Howe is, is a grinding guy. He doesn't do anything flashy, just single legs and tough. And Kendrick Maple is a guy who's got unbelievable athleticism. So their, their team overall, you can't give, okay, this is what they do. Overall, they're going to wrestle hard. They're going to be wrestle hard for seven minutes, and we have to go out and match that intensity um, to, to get it. You know, we set our schedule up. We did the same thing last year, not quite nearly as difficult uh, as last year, but to get these teams in so that we can look at them in November, see where we need to be, because those are the guys that we want to be beating in March. Yep. And uh, if you wait till March to see them for the first time, it's just no, it's not good. You're not prepared. So. We, we, we challenge our guys. We have some some teams in there that you know that we can feel good about ourselves moving forward. But we definitely need the challenges of the Oklahomas and the Virginia Techs because we have guys that are going to be looking to be All Americans this year and, and win national titles, and, and they need to be ready for that um, March March date out in uh, Oklahoma City. So this is a key week for us, um, and, and I want to see the team just compete. I want to see them compete. We can win some matches, you know, to, to come away from Oklahoma. <clears throat> we're going to have to wrestle extremely well. We, we can't have any mistakes. We can't have anybody not do their job uh, to, to come away with the win because, uh, again, up and down, you got eight guys ranked in the top 20. They don't have really any holes. Yep. So um, it's not that we can't beat them, but we have to wrestle a great match. We don't have to wrestle above us. We just need to wrestle. Every single guy needs to understand their role and go out there and find ways to get their hand raised. And when you look at the individual matchups, there's going to be a lot of good matches. You know, I think, again, where they're strong is where we're strong. Down low is their strengths. That's where we're strong. Um, so we, we just need our guys going out there competing at a high level. And, and you know, the thing, biggest thing that I'm going to stress them this week is not beating yourself before you get out there. You know, I know it's Oklahoma and stuff, but we've wrestled Virginia Tech and we've wrestled Iowa and Ohio State and Minnesota and we've wrestled all these teams. So it's no different than anybody else we've wrestled in the past. Step out there with the confidence to win the dual meet, to win your individual match, and that's all you can control. 
you can't worry about, Jimmy Franco can't worry about if Luke Knight's going to win or Jamel Hudson or anything like that. He's got to worry about his match and he's got to beat Patterson. And him going out there and focusing 100% on his match will be the best thing he can do for the team. Now, Coach, brings me to my next question. You preach it all the time, being able to compete not just against talent in last year at the CAA, this year in your new conference, but competing nationally. Now, as far as the regimen goes for these wrestlers, what sort of things do they do to work on to go against somebody who maybe is on a number five Oklahoma as opposed to somebody who's on a BMI or Chattanooga? Yeah, the, the, the preparation should not change. You know, and that's what one of the hardest things that you get, I think, in any sport yeah. is, you know, you wrestle to the level of your opponent. Or, or football, whatever it is you do, you do to the level of your opponent, and, and you, can't, you can't do that. If you're wrestling the number one guy in the country, you've got to prepare the same way you would if you're wrestling the worst guy in the country. Uh, and, and that's what we're going to stress this week about having that confidence. We're not going to change anything we do from uh, a competition, from a practice schedule. We're not all, hey, we're wrestling Oklahoma, so this week we're going we're gonna to completely throw our normal schedule out of the week. No, we prepare a certain way for every team. And, um, you know, they're, they're not, our guys aren't dumb. They, they know who they're wrestling. They know this is a bigger team than a VMI or, uh, you know, even a Chattanooga who's a good team but not the fifth ranked team in the country. They know they're wrestling a, a team that's a higher caliber. What we need to do is just give them confidence. Let them know that they are prepared to wrestle this week. They are prepared to win this dual meet. And have them step out there um, with that confidence, because that's going to give them the best opportunity to win. If they go out there thinking, oh, hey, I'm not prepared, I'm not ready to wrestle, they don't have a chance of winning this. But they are good enough to win this match. And, and we just need to keep letting them know. Um, it's nice that we were able to beat a team like North Carolina and finish the day with that, because it does build confidence moving into this dual meet. And some of the guys are really, you can tell on the bus ride home, they're feeling good about them, themselves. Yep. So uh, I think it's a good time for us to be wrestling Oklahoma, and we just need to go out there and compete. Finally, Coach, in terms of, regardless of a win or a loss, you come away from that match against Oklahoma, what needs to happen for you to say, I'm glad the way that match went? You know, it, it comes down to the same thing. Obviously, we're, we're judged on wins and losses um, from an outside perspective. Yes. But for, for me, it's I want to see our guys wrestle to the fullest potential. And every time we talk about rest, going out there and, and uh, wrestling that perfect match and, and striving to wrestle that perfect match. And the wins and losses are great, but that's not ultimately how I'm going to judge this weekend. I want to see the guys go out there and compete to the best of their ability so when we come back from it, win or lose, we can get better for the next time we compete. And the only way you can do that is by going out there and wrestling. I don't care who you're wrestling. You have to go out there and you gotta, you got to give it everything you have for seven minutes so then we can bring something back and we can take something away from it. If you go out there and you stand around and get dominated for seven minutes, we have no idea what, what to work on. It's just everything at that point in time. So it makes it very difficult when you don't compete to get better from it. So, you know, it's important for us to go out there and compete and win every match we do. But even more important than that is uh, competing to the best of our ability, trying to reach our full potential so we can keep getting better because this is a marathon. Yeah. It's a six-month grind wrestling season, and we don't want to be wrestling our best now in November and fade in March. We want to keep getting better each week, and, and the way you do that is by going out there and competing to the best of your ability, coming back, breaking the tape down, and, and improving on it, win or lose, because there's been some matches where guys have won, and I've been disappointed in that's not a good performance. And there's been some matches where the guy's lost, and I can say, hey, you know what? We can build on that, so when we see him in March, we'll be better prepared, and we're going to get that win. Uh, whereas I've seen guys lose, win matches, and I go, that guy's feeling a lot better about himself than he did before that match. You allow that guy confidence. So when he sees you at March, he's going to be a different guy. You need to bury guys. And uh, so, again, it's important to win, don't get me wrong, and we're going out there to win that dual meet, but the most important thing I want to take is I want to see these guys step on the mat, I want to see them in a big environment, I want to see them compete. I, I don't want to see them, you know, oh, hey, we're, we're at Oklahoma, and, you know, Saturday night there's going to be a football game going on there. It's going to be a crazy environment all weekend long, so I want to see our guys be able to handle that. So when they go out there and march and they're in Oklahoma City and there's 18, 19,000 fans, it, the situation isn't too big. Yeah. This is all preparation for that. All right. That goes Rob Thank Hopsbox. You. Thanks for the time. And, of course, Hofstra fans, you can tune in to go Hofstra not only for the WB Mason Coach Report, but for a live results on the wrestling matches this weekend. Thanks for listening.